Hey, good morning, friends. We are in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, and today we're going to do verses 23 through 38. And uh, if I read all that, we'd be spending more time than we have. So this is the begats. This is one of those little begat spots, and so I'm just going to read the beginning of it for us here and then make a few observations. Now, Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mathat, and so on, on down the list. You can read the there's a lot of insights for us by seeing who fits into Jesus' genealogy, because there's some there's some pretty uh, pretty strange characters in the mix here. Sinful, wicked men and women in the character, all the way down to verse 38, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. This is giving the lineage of Jesus. So Jesus is human, like we are. Jesus is fully divine. He's the son of God in the ultimate sense. But he has a human lineage, a human DNA that comes down to him down through all the years. And you can read through all those generations. And you find that Jesus wasn't preserved in some miraculous way from, you know, the, the results of heredity. He's, this is his heredity right here. So Jesus has a humanity very much like yours and mine. And he knows what it's like to be tempted like you and I are tempted. He knows what it's like to experience, I'm sure, mosquito bites and things like that. He knows what it is to be tired, to be hungry. He was not kind of a uh, alien Superman kind of floating through here and just pretending to be human. He was as human as we are, and that makes him a really remarkable pattern for you and I. Special that God gives us this lineage, this genealogy. Jesus came as human as you are to show you to be as right as he is. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Thank you for this lineage of Jesus. No, we didn't have time in this time to read every line of it today, but there is insight here for us. And many of, many of the relatives, many of the ancestors of Jesus have pretty spotty records because the Bible doesn't hide anything. Thank you, Lord, for showing us that Jesus is made out of the same stuff that we are and is ready to heal us. And certainly in the other sense, Jesus is divine, unlike ourselves, and can change us. May the power of divinity work in our hearts and transform us so that we become like Jesus. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, God bless you today, and his blessings be upon you today. Jesus, who became human to save humans, to save sinners like you and I.